To stream in 1080p on YouTube, it's easy. Here's your settings. Click the settings button in the bottom right hand corner. These are the best settings. A combination of the official YouTube recommended settings as well as some bonus settings from me that YouTube has yet to officially specify. Your first stop is going to be the video tab right over here. That's where we will choose our resolution as well as our frame rate. For your resolution, you want 1920 x 1080. That's 1080p. That's full HD. Copy paste that to the output scaled resolution. Why? Do you want your canvas to be the exact same size as your scaled resolution? Almost all the time, this makes the most sense so that here in your canvas, this little area here I'm waving over here on the side, whatever you see in the canvas is what the audience will see. There won't be any confusion about that quality or how that scales at all. For your downscale filter, I recommend bumping this up to 36 samples Lancos if you have the processing power. Go ahead and bump it up to maximum. If not, leave it at the default which I believe is 16 samples. I'm gonna do 36 since I have a powerful processor. And for your frame rate, your FPS, there are two recommended frame rates. The first one is 30 frames per second, which is going to be the most common for almost everyone. That's for on-camera stuff, presentations, business webinars, whatever it may be, vlogging, just ch chatting, whatever. 30 frames is great for that. But if you are going to do high motion content such as sports or gameplay or high motion trailers, I recommend bumping up your frame rate to 60. I'll go over the bit rates for both in today's tutorial in a moment. Hit apply, but do not yet hit OK. What you're going to do next is go to the audio tab. There's a couple settings here that should not be ignored that almost all of you guys do. Pay attention. Your sample rate, YouTube recommends 44.1 kilohertz as your sample rate you may have selected 48 because your devices on your computer prefer 48 test 44.1 and see if it's okay see if it desyncs see if everything sounds good if it does on a test live stream on youtube stick with 44.1 because that's what youtube wants it's what it recommends go ahead and disable all of your audio devices in obs why because I want you to manually add any audio devices that you use in OBS so you do not have any surprises during your live stream. I have worked with clients in the past who went live, their desktop audio was on, they got Skype calls, they got notifications, they got sounds happening on their desktop or through an extra microphone they did not want going through their live stream and they didn't even know it was there because they didn't disable all this. So disable everything here and manually add it so you don't get any surprises and mishaps during your stream. Hit apply. Do not yet hit OK. We're going to go to the output tab, the more complex tab here. This is with all the very custom settings that need to be done for 1080p live streaming. Output mode is going to default to simple. Don't use simple. Use advanced. Advanced is going to give you all the options you may need. Here in the advanced tab, you're probably going to have one of two different types of encoder options, uh, two categories of encoder options in the streaming tab. Either an NVIDIA NVENC encoder, what is that? That's your graphics card handling all of the video encoding load on your computer, or you may have an X264 encoder. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I very, very, very highly recommend using that encoder instead of the x264 encoder why the x264 encoder uses your cpu your processor to do the encoding and you want to save your processor to do other stuff on your computer when you're live streaming in more cases than not so we're going to go over the setup in a, of an nvidia one because it has more settings and it's more complex link in the description below if you do not already have an nvidia graphics card i've got a recommended official nvidia creator laptop below that is ice cold killer it's what i'm using to record this tutorial actually select that and then choose to uncheck this box it'll come checked maybe uncheck the enforced streaming service encoder settings box you don't need that youtube recommends rate control of cbr constant bit rate do not choose variable bitrate. And for 30 frames per second streams, your minimum bitrate here is going to be 3,000. Minimum. 
for 30 frames per second streams at 1080p, your maximum bit rate recommended is 6,000. So when you do an internet speed test and you check out what your upload speed is, what should your minimum upload speed be if you are streaming at 6,000 kbps, otherwise known as 6 megabytes upload? You should always have 50% more upload speed as your maximum, as your bandwidth, than you're using when you live stream. So if you're using 6,000 as your upload speed here in OBS, I want you to have at least 9,000 total when you do your speed test, otherwise known as nine megabyte upload speed. Do an internet speed test, check that out, and make sure that you have at least 50% more than what you are currently using. For your keyframe interval, select two. YouTube specifies it once two, don't do auto. And if you have a very powerful processor on your computer, do max quality. Uh, for the NVIDIA graphics card, uh, it's going to handle most of that preset, so it doesn't matter to you. If you're having performance issues for some reason, I've seen this in some cases, do max performance instead. If there's an encoder overload for some reason, max quality is a good default setting, though. Your profile should be high. I recommend turning off look ahead. Don't use it. And leave psycho visual tuning checked. It has virtually no impact, but just leave it on. Select apply, but do not yet hit OK. Your next stop is going to be the audio tab right up here. You're going to want to select the official recommended bit rate for live streams on YouTube. It's 128 is the official recommended bit rate. For recordings, I do recommend that you guys bump this up to 320 to max out that quality. For streams, YouTube does not want you to do that. It wants you to do 128. So go ahead and give YouTube what it's asking for. Okay, there you go. Now, for those of you that were streaming in 1080p 60 FPS, let's go over those settings for you here really quick in terms of your bit rate. Your bit rate, if you're doing 60 frames, gameplay included, you are going to want a minimum of 4,500 kbps. That's 4.5 megabytes upload. You are going to maximize this the high end for 60 frames per second streams is 9,000 kbps. So doing math again on this, if you are going to stream at 9,000 kbps, which is nine megabytes upload, if you're doing a 60 frames per second, 1080p stream, how much upload speed are you gonna want on your internet connection in total? 50% more. What is 50% of 9,000? 4,500. 4,500 plus 9,000, is 13.5. So your internet speed test, if you're gonna max out this bit rate like this, you should have at least 13.5 megabytes upload speed to feel comfortable streaming at this bit rate. Otherwise, you're gonna might be dropping frames and creating a bad experience for all of your viewers. Hit apply, you can now hit OK, and all of your settings are now complete. If you'd like me to help you with your home studio setup, with your YouTube strategy, with anything at all, I'm here to help at awalldigital.com. Link in the description below. I've been coaching creators, some of the biggest creators in the entire world, to people that are just getting started. Book me. Select your day, select your time, enter your information, and I'm on a one-on-one -on -one video call with you, helping you succeed in online broadcasting.